Hi everyone and welcome back and also hello to any new people on my channel. Um, so it's been a hot minute since I uploaded like anywhere, but I'm gonna be honest, I just didn't have time for anything. These last few months were definitely pretty hectic. I mean, I'm a student and I also got a job and then I was managing three media platforms on top of that, so it was kind of messy. But now it's summer and the only thing I have to worry about is my job and getting to Canada for school like in August, so now I can get back to filming, which is really exciting for me. I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd vlog one of my weeks for you guys so you can kind of join me on my mini adventures I have. I've been trying to get back to anime journaling for a while and I thought I could do Barbara because I've kind of been putting her off. She's just had like a piece of paper on my desk and I've just been waiting to kind of like cut the pieces apart, so I did. And I've been doing it on these smaller pieces of paper. This is size A6, but recently I've gone to journaling into smaller notebooks because it takes less time and it's like a fun mini project. And then while doing these smaller journals, I kind of created like a cute little Genshin journaling style and I'll show you later in the video because I've made quite a few of these with different characters and stuff. So this is just the one of many I've made. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of funny because it's like an addiction for me to make these and I do want to make one for every character in Genshin. That's like kind of my goal, but I don't know if I'll actually reach that because these take kind of long to make, like I have to find the pictures and also the washi tape for it and I don't know, it's a lot longer than a two minute video, I can tell you that. Another thing I like about these is that they're very minimal in terms of supplies. The only thing I use here are like loose leaf, printer pictures, two washi tapes, and some pens. Usually when I journal, I use a lot of stickers from a bunch of Instagram shops or a bunch of washi tapes from AliExpress and stuff like that, but these I don't. I just stack them out with doodles and metallic pens to really make them pop. I feel like if I ever made a video on how to journal on a budget or how to journal minimalistically, I will definitely include these in that video because I do believe these could be pretty budget friendly and don't worry, I'll make like a little tutorial on it, how to keep it pretty budget eco-friendly. So now I want to show you guys my big collection of these and how many I've actually made. So here are all my spreads. I keep them in this little clear plastic binder. As you can see, there's a lot and you can tell I really like making them. I like to call them Genshin trading cards because they're small and I also add the little symbols on the back to kind of mimic like a trading card aspect. And then of course I have all their names on the front too and I try to make all the doodles kind of like matching to their style. Like Mona, she has little constellations and Barbara has little stars, which I think is really cute. This was back when strawberries were actually good, like in early May, and every week I'd buy and eat by myself two packages of strawberries because they were actually sweet for once. But that ended pretty quick and they're just not good anymore, at least the ones I've been picking up, which kind of makes me sad because I really like strawberries, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Like, y'all the dirt? They call me and a friend at work, Strawberry Girl, because we're always chopping, eating, or drinking something strawberry, which I find pretty cute and funny. But yeah, I eat strawberry stuff a lot. Now on to the fun part, which is cleaning my desk, and this was needed like months ago. Like I said, I've just been really busy and I haven't cleaned anything for a while, so one day I was just like, screw it, it's just time to clean. So I took everything off my desk and started wiping down on the surface and also around my monitor because it was so dusty and just nasty. Ugh. And then I also need to clean my keyboard because like, look at it, it's disgusting. So I decided to clean it and don't take tips from me or like bash me or anything. I don't know how to correctly clean a keyboard. So I kind of just took some alcohol and some cotton swabs and cleaned like the tight areas in between. And then same thing with my mouse. But again, don't come after me because I'm just trying to disinfect because I don't know what's on there. Okay, let's be honest. 
And then I just had to put my mouse pad back and lay my keyboard and mouse on it. And now I have to deal with this area, which the goal is to move everything off my printer and have space for my MacBook. I have a lot of random stuff, including this plushie from Overwatch, which I stuck cat ears on it and it's like really cute and funny. I, I love it a lot. I also have some random books and receipts crammed on the side here, so I wanted to limit that down as well. But before I even put stuff back, I needed to clean my printer because there's so much dust buildup and I just gave it a quick wipe down, which made me feel a little better about myself. I also had to clean under the printer and I discovered there's a permanent mark that won't go away no matter how hard I scrub. So I guess it's like a little memory for myself or something. But anyways, I put my printer back and I just have my iPad and two notebooks here that I'm just going to shove on the side with that little rock like holder to keep my books in place so they don't fall. And then I put my plush on the side next to it because I really like him. And I have this random bag of stuff that I just like need so I put it there and then I have my MacBook. And then I have actual space for my MacBook now so that's really nice. And now this whole area is so clean and I feel a lot better mentally because I have a clean space. And then I was going to record a TikTok but I don't really have sun space anymore so I gotta figure that out. This was a really exciting purchase for me because this is the first MacBook I've ever owned. I didn't really buy it for my own use but more for college because I'm going into graphic design and the class is very Apple based which I feel like that makes sense. But it's really nice having a laptop now because I haven't really had one before. I've used desktops for three or four years now so I'm kind of used to that and just sitting at my desk. But now I have a laptop that's personally mine and it's nice that I can just go out and study by myself rather than being stuck in a room on my PC. I've downloaded all my apps on it like Discord and Spotify but I still have a lot more I need to download. But here's the ones I use right now. I still need to download some more stuff like Photoshop and Illustrator because, you know, graphic design. The touch bar is really cool and I think it's kind of nifty to use sometimes. I just think it's cool to have any touchscreen mechanism on a laptop, so I'm like personally pretty intrigued by it. But yeah, for now, I just use it to watch some animes or some show on Disney Plus if I'm honest. But I do use it for high school stuff and my online agenda as well, which is really helpful because again, I can just go outside on the go and update it like that, so it's really nice. And I've honestly gotten some pretty good use out of it, so I think it's well worth my money for now. Now we're going to unbox my Paper Kumika haul. I've been waiting to do this for a while, so I'm really excited to open it up and show y'all what I got. By the way, this is an Instagram shop. I honestly think of it as the planner sticker shop, so I recommend you go check it out because she always includes a bunch of freebie stickers. I'll be sure to link her page down below. Anyways, first cool thing was I got a washi tape cutter. I'll show you how it works at the end of the haul, but I got this one. And then I got a bunch of sticker flakes pretty much. And they're all vinyl, which I really appreciate because I love vinyl stickers. I could probably slap some of these in my water bottle. And for sticker sheets, I got these hollow stars because I've been to sparkly stickers lately, so I thought these would be a cute addition. And then I also got a bunch of her snack stickers because she makes them look so cute. And she incorporates all of her little characters into them, so I just bought a lot of doubles of them for most of the sheets. And these are definitely my favorite snack stickers from her of all time. Last thing I got from the shop was this purple grid washi tape with all the characters on it and I love it a lot. Like, it's seriously so cute. She never disappoints with her washi tapes. I think she's made like 40, 50 washi tapes. So if you want some washi, go to her. And then let me show you how this thing works. So you just have your tape, you set it on top and you pull it up to rip it and it's a solid straight line. Honestly, I've never thought of anything like this, but it works great and is super useful for spreads and planners. Here, I just wanted to show off my outfit and how cute it was that I matched my hair. And obviously, I'm kind of awkward in front of cameras and I don't really know what to do. So you get this. You're welcome. This is a haul, but not really a haul because it's just of things I kind of need, but I thought I'd share it anyways. 
So first thing I got here is a passport wallet. I figured I need a wallet for travel because I'm literally leaving the country in what, two months? So I got Amazon for 13 bucks and I'm gonna use it then when I go travel. I'll probably use it regularly after that though because I just need a regular wallet and I don't really have a regular wallet in general. I have one of those keychain wallets so I think it'll be a lot better just to have a regular old wallet to take around with me. Next thing are some camera batteries. I've needed these for so long because I've been working with one camera battery for so many years. So I got some extras to have because it's becoming practical at this point. So these are definitely bringing me some relief. I also got a really big SD card because it's just another thing I've needed. I have a 32, but again, it's just becoming so useless because I film so much now. So I'm gonna use this one from now on. Next, I got these little locks for my luggages for when I travel, and specifically these ones because they're TSA approved, so I shouldn't have any problems. I feel safer with locks in my bags because I'm packing my whole life in these, so these bring me a little comfort low-key. I recently got a new iPad, so I had to buy a new case for it because it's like two inches bigger than my old one. So I just got one of those flip cases because that's what I had before. It's pretty thin and cheap, but it's not like I really dropped my electronics ever, so I trust myself on this one. And before I get attacked, I'd like to state I'm not rich. My phone company just gave this to us for free and we had to pay tax on it. So like, I'm not rich, I swear, <laughs> don't come after me. And lastly, I got a thin case for my MacBook. It's not really too protective from drops, but more just scratches and also so I can put stickers on it and just not my laptop because I do not want like sticker residue on my laptop. So I'll just put it on the case instead. It also came with this little like keyboard cover, but being honest, I'm not going to use it, but here it is. And then these are some camera covers from a while ago, but now I'm gonna put on my laptop because I've been using just a piece of washi tape, so now I have a little camera thing that I can flip on and off pretty much. So this was our senior ditch day and originally it was supposed to be at the beach, but then we decided to go to San Francisco and instead have a picnic at Golden Gate Park. It was crazy because we had this big spot to ourselves, so like that was amazing. One of my friends made one of those boards, so that was like our mini lunch. And of course my friends wanted pictures before they ate it, so I recorded them taking pictures because it was kind of cute. Then we got to eat after that and hung out there for about an hour and then we left and then, oh my god, I was hiking these stairs. I was about to have an asthma attack because I'm so out of shape, dude. Yeah, that was not a cute moment of mine. Then we headed to Castro Street and I really liked all the pride stuff. I thought it was really cute and then the pride sidewalk, I really liked that too. And then we stopped by a boba shop and pretty much after that, we just headed home and that was us off. So technically this was Saturday morning, but I'm just gonna count this as Friday for the video, but I decided to journal Yanfei and I also got a lot of questions about my printer. So I used this printer and I put it on 600 DPI, which is the most you should do to have really quality images while not using all of your ink. By the way, I recommend you get this printer or something similar to it because I paid about 50 bucks for it and I paid about 40 bucks for generic XL cartridges, which is pretty good because because those cartridges last a long time, especially the amount of eye print. Yeah, these are really good. I just get them on Amazon, but I'll definitely be sure to leave a link down below because I really, really, really like them. Anyways, here's my journal that I've been using a lot. I'll also leave a link to where I got it as well. It's an A6 journal, so it can practically fit in your pocket pretty much. And I've had a lot of fun with it lately. As you can see, I've done a few spreads in it so far, and I think it's the best because it's not too big where I'm forced to write in it because there's so much space left over. So I like it a lot because all my pictures fit in it well, and I can just do collage spreads, which is what I usually do and way prefer because I hate writing in journals. It's not that I don't know what to write, it's just I prefer pictures of our writing, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and I think I'm a little curious, would you guys like if I anime journaled and included sounds like writing, cutting paper, and stuff like that? I think I'd like to try that, so let me know down below in the comments if you like those sort of like lo-fi, relaxing journal videos because I think it'd be really chill to watch, so let me know if you guys want to see that.
ta-da here's my finished yonfei journal it's really cute and i liked putting little doodles on it too i think it looks really good with them but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out my other socials for more content for me